Hey, all right, let's try that again. I don't know what happened there, but I'm looking for Teresa. Let's see here. All right, looking for Teresa Snyder. If anybody sees her, point her out. Hey everybody, so welcome to this broadcast. I'm Dr. Dante Sears, and pretty soon I will be joined here with Teresa Snyder, who is a fantastic journalist and um, broadcast hoster. So Teresa, go ahead and send me a broadcast request so that I can join you in, and uh, we'll get the show started. Let's see here. <laughs> there we go. Hey, Yay. Teresa, how are you? Woo! We made we it. We made it. I love it. <laughs> this is so, like, so perfect. Awesome, so... guys. You don't know how much I've been working to make this happen today. It's been a long day. Eric Zuli has been really, really instrumental in helping me get all set up, and uh, we're here. With Teresa, I love your necklace, girl. That looks awesome. Thank you, darling. I was trying to go for a little shimmery shim, shim, shim with some Valentine's Day attire since we're going to be talking about Valentine's Day. Absolutely. I feel like I have to go put more makeup on now after I see you. You've got it all perfect and everything. Uh, the, you know, you're all powdered up, powder, powder, powder. <laughs> oh, no. You know, I just was like... Oh, well, you have a man, you have a good man, and I'm the one that doesn't have a good man, so I thought maybe a little bit of lipstick would help me out. Not and sure. A little lipstick on it. I love it. <laughs> I love it. Okay, so for, there we go. That's my excuse. I am, I'm toning it down today. It's all about you, Teresa. Thank you. That? It's all about what does Teresa want to see happen Ooh. this Valentine's Day? I like that. And, well, hey, look at who's joining us. We've got Robert Wynn, Carolyn Brown, Burzens, Calvin Shears, Brian Agler, whoa, Mark Mund, Eric Zuli, wow. Studios, Ronald Cal Calhoun, and of course you. Wow. Well, like Hello, we're everyone. here to top it off. And what? Here's the thing: is that Dante and I, we have been wanting to do something live where it's funny humorous and also that you can actually get information that you can take away from a broadcast so yes. fun and humorous the first thing that we talked about is this whole notion that hallmark decides to come up with a holiday for valentine's day how do you like that <laughs> you know and my question and and i want to ask all of you viewers out in the viewing land does Valentine's Day actually enhance your relationship or cause Ooh, problems that's such a in good your relationship? Question. And I want to know the truth. I mean, does it actually <laughs> we do you need grow the guys closer? To answer that. Yeah, do you grow closer and feel more in love and you're like goo goo lovey gooey and the sex is great and the food's great, or is it just a chore? I love that. I love that. Oh, my goodness. You know what we need right now, Teresa? We need to have, like, a call in for people to tell us about their situations. You guys are going to have to tell us right now in the comments until someone hands me a phone. Right. Because you, you like know how I, I do that? I'm like, hands me a phone. Uh, a phone. Hello. <laughs> a phone. Well, and this is maybe just my way of thinking a little bit. I tend to think that a holiday like Valentine's Day, there's this big like I guess hoorah. I'll be, the, I'll be the call in guy. Oh are you the call in? Oh, oh let's we've got a caller right here. Caller, go <laughs> ahead. Caller caller, can you answer that question for us? Yeah. The uh, question. I was too busy uh, coming, all, uh, you know, talking to all the Easy Way family and all the Dante Della family and the Teresa Snyder family. <laughs> and so I didn't hear what the question was. But I'll, I'll be the person to answer the calls if you guys want to call 424-209-9290. And that was my signal to come in, right? When you said caller? Yes. That's it. So caller. Right here. You're going to have Caller. First caller. Okay, the question is, do you think that... 
424-209-9290. Okay, great. Okay, great. So, so Eric, great. you are our first caller. So caller, the question is, do you think that actually having the holiday, Valentine's Day, improves and enhances a relationship mm -hmm. or deters from the relationship? Did you hear? So does Valentine's Day improve our relationship or hurt our relationship? <sighs> I mean, your relationship, caller. Well, so that's for the callers. I thought you were asking Yeah, you're me. the was... first caller. Oh, I'm the first. I'm... Well, I would say that if I didn't have, if I wasn't in a relationship, it would, it would, it would, it would hurt my feelings. Therefore, it could hurt the potential relationships. Uh, but if I'm in a relationship, I'm going to love Valentine's Day. I'm going to love all the things that can go on. And if I am in a bad mood, I, I would just need to buy some Dante Bella jewelry, which would make me feel like, like I'm in a better mood. Ooh, I like that answer. Ooh, good, good stuff. Teresa, because for, for, for Eric and I, Valentine's Day is actually a very special day. It actually was the Valentine's Day gloom that is, was responsible for us becoming a couple. Ooh, so there's more to this story than we know. We were both really, really busy and didn't have time for relationships. And so we knew that both of us knew that we wouldn't have a Valentine's Day. And so our first date, we decided to have our first date on Valentine's Day. <laughs> wow. Wow. Quite perfectly from there. <laughs> so, yeah, y'all's was kind of like not the norm. I mean, you're just two highly successful, busy people and just decided – wow, if we're going to fit time in to ever just go out, well, then Valentine's was it. So it actually was a benefit to you guys. Exactly. I was successful. Ah, oh, I don't think we were. You yeah, know, I know that it worked out well. You've got to take the negatives and make them into positives. Like, we could have both been like, yeah, I don't have a Valentine. But we made it into our first date, and it was just perfect. I'm yes. So let's see, is anybody going to call in? We put, posted the number, call in and tell us about your Valentine's Day stories. Does anyone have a, a special Valentine's Day story or um, an answer to the question, you know, whether it hurt or enhances your relationship? I saw someone in there said something about it's a money pool or something like that. Let's see. Waiting for the call. I feel it's more of a money grabber, says Carolyn Brown Burzins. Hmm. Well, I do want to make a comment that I have put myself out there on these dating sites where they have apps, right? The Bumble app. And an, a Bumble app is just pretty straightforward. The picture shows, gives a little bit of, of, of a brief, you know, who this person is and you choose Swipe right if you're interested, swipe left if you're not interested. My question is why, why do men take just some random selfie in the bathroom? <laughs> like without the shirt, We're like without the shirt too, like, like I yes. Think, like, oh, that totally makes me think monogamous you know, relationship quality right there when you're showing, like, look at my body. This is what I have to offer you. It's like the offering, right? This is my cutest. Yes. Left. No, no, you can tell us why guys do these things. Do you ever post one of those pictures? I, you know, I've never really done the selfie in the bathroom thing with my shirt off. I've not, I have not done the selfie in the bathroom thing or the live in the bath. I haven't done anything in the bathroom. The bathroom just doesn't uh, motivate me to you live. I, I usually like to do the outside thing or in my studio. No, no, selfie. Not live, selfie. Okay, well, I've never done the, I, I haven't done the in the mirror thing yet. I saw, well, stay tuned. I'll put it in the mirror selfie yeah. thing and I'll put it on Instagram. <laughs> well, like, it is crazy. A couple of nights ago, my friend and I, we were at dinner and we both got our, our Bumble app, our phone app, and we both were showing. Like, <laughs> would you pick that one? No. Or well, how if we had to choose but on in the on the dating app it's like showing his butt like why do i have interest there like hey i got a nice butt i'm like yeah okay yeah no i mean go for um in the dating app Teresa, as a modern dating woman who's you know for those single guys out there that are looking for a valentine's date 
Hey, we're going to interview you later, but <laughs> keep your phone nearby. All right, I'm here. Yes. Yes, Eric, we've, we've got some questions for how would the man answer certain things because I'm and telling you. i out here that Eric is wearing the Dante Bella black lava agate pendant. Easy way necklace. My man supports me. Look, he wears, he wears my necklace. Actually, I gave her this my was brand my new. first one I ever made, and he snatched it and will not give it back, and it turned out to be the most one-of-a-kind stone ever. And it's like he loves it, and I love that he loves it. And everybody loves Ooh, that was good stuff. And then if I go underneath his shirt, there's more of them. See, so men can wear wow. stones too. So Eric, tell Teresa, please, why do you wear all these stones? Uh, well, the main reason is because I don't want to end up uh, having a, a lot of sickness from the radiation that happens that uh, you are on your phone. Oh, thank you. Oh, thank you. <laughs> um, 5G is coming out. And if you don't have protection from the EMF, you're going to have problems. Because everybody in the planet has a cell phone, mm -hmm. and they're around microwaves and, and cell phone towers and all that stuff, and and so it's very important to have that, and that's one of the smart decisions that Dante made to uh, create a jewelry line that not only makes you uh, look stylish and fashionable, but you're also getting the health protection. It's really important. Um, second thing is is uh, the healing aspect of things, the confidence. You know, there's a lot that this jewelry does, and it looks fly. You know, a lot of people like it, so. And it, it was my colors, and the second I saw this, I jacked it and turned it into my line. Easy That's way the line easy way about. necklace now. <laughs> exactly. See? So, so I'm going to do, and actually, I can't get these things off of him. He sleeps in them and everything. And I realized that these were his secret weapon. You know, he's always so calm, cool, collected. He sleeps in his. I take him off, and, and I'm like, now I'm wearing him at night, too, so I can be like him. <laughs> That is cool. Wow. You know, that can help, help, help you to happen between men and women. Mm -hmm. I wonder how many. So I think this is so perfect. So where can people go to shop for the Della Dante, Dante, Dante <laughs> Bella, this, where they can go to shop for the, the special gift. Oh, yeah, absolutely. So you can text HEAL, H-E-A-L, to 55678 right now, and there is a discount coupon that will come with that, and you can get up to 50% off, and we're even doing a buy one, get one free, where um, you can buy a necklace for your sweetie and get one for yourself, too. I think what you should do is you should really show the... This the, is the, the woman, the female, the woman's necklace that we're giving the Amazonite queen. That we're giving along with the man's necklace so you can get something for your girl and something for yourself or something for your man as us women like to do get something for yourself and it comes with something that you can give your man it's an excuse to go shopping for valentine's day and you get to feel amazing so i love that what i was going to tell you guys I love them. is uh, uh i look was look at this look at this so this is one of the necklaces and i've got like crystal and agate and another crystal at the bottom and then Underneath, I've got two more necklaces. So I hide them, but it really sustains my well-being. And it, I think it really helps our relationship a lot. Sorry, cool. honey, I interrupted you. What I was going to tell you guys is uh, we just got a major deal with about 200 clubs all over the United States. These are Fortune 100 and above level people. And uh, a lot of people were making comments about the necklace that I was wearing. And so um, it, it is an attention getter. It's uh, stylish. But the healing side of it is very important. And uh, so, you know, if you guys want to be successful, you need to have the health. You can't have health without wealth. And what, what better way than to look stealth and can't fly have wealth without than health. wear Dante Bella, Bella with her. All right. So, and all then right. you'll catch everyone's eye. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I think that is so important. And just so you know, I'm very supportive of my girl on this broadcast. But this is the most uncomfortable position I've ever been in in my life on a, on a, on a broadcast. That's why huh. I keep trying to leave. But when, huh. when Thank you, you so much. Huh. When you want to interview me or whatever, let me know. Bye, Teresa. She's Bye, a Bye, Eric. Shows. Dante, guys, check out Easy Way Wall of Fame. Big things happening with the Easy Way Elite. I'm not going to promote, promote myself. I told you I wouldn't. But I'm just promoting them that they are Easy Way <laughs> Wall of Famers and they are part of Easy Way Elite. That's yes. Yes. We are your girls. You heard we it. We are the girls. <laughs> love it. So I love it. An example of, you know, how to make, I think how to make um, 
Valentine's Day work, you know, for a couple. It's really about the love, right? It's like, instead of getting someone something that, you know, you rush to get them a gift, mm -hmm. give them something that is actually going to make a difference for both of you, right? Instead of, um, I know so many times, like, I got really bad Valentine's Day gifts. Like, have you ever gotten a bad Valentine's Day gift, Teresa? <laughs> Like, where it was almost like, thank you so much, but I want to cry because it's so mm -hmm. don't really think of me. And I think as women, we get really tied into that story, right? That fairy tale, like, in Valentine's Day, I'm expecting, like, come on, rose petals and a proposal, right? And anything short of that is already, like, a tearjerker. Yes. <laughs> That's the fairy yes, tale, yes, yes, yes. Right? I'm expecting yes. that level or a diamond ring or, you know, something really fancy. But really what women want is to be loved and to feel like we matter to someone um, because of how much we normally give out to that other person. So putting some thought into your Valentine's Day gift and, and putting your heart into it. And really, this is what I think is a really great idea for people that have been dating a significant other for, you know, a decent amount of time is that there is a quiz it goes along with the book, Yes, The Five Love Languages. Five Love Languages. Yeah. And what's fun is you can take the test and answer the questions according to how you think that you find love. Yes. And then also answer the questions according to what your significant other, how you think they would answer them. Well, and to see if you're spot them. on. No, no. I think you should ask your man because I actually went and asked him the questions. You won't probably get him to take it, but ask him because you mm -hmm. actually would be surprised the answers that they come up with where you're like, oh, really? That's what you care about? And then once right. you know what he actually likes, you can stop wasting your time with what he doesn't like. And the same for the woman. Exactly. Women exactly. are not that confusing. It really comes down to how do I, how do I want to um, give and receive love? And how do mm -hmm. I start to see it? So, like, remember that? Did you read the five love languages, Teresa? Yes. The point. Yes. He said in the beginning how, like, they had, he was a psychologist, and he had parents come in the office, and, like, the kid would just look like they were so unloved. And the parents would be like, we buy him everything he wants, we do this, we give him hugs and all that. And he would say, all I could see is a kid who looked like an empty tank that wanted to be filled with love. So what he found is that the kid, you know, he, the way he expected to, feel and receive love was by like words of affirmation and the parents were giving things and all that but they weren't saying what the kid needed to hear to feel like mm -hmm. they were loved and I think that happens so many times in relationships I know even Erica and I've sometimes done it where it's like I'm doing so much to show I love you but I'm not doing that one little thing so it's like we got to go back to finding out what how do you expect love and then give it in that way and it's as if you're giving a million dollar gift because you're giving yes. exactly what they need. And exactly yes. what you're looking for. And this you. is a prime example. Like my gift, like I love words of affirmation. Yeah. I really like to be, you know, told good job or that I appreciate you or, you know, just that I really appreciate that you took the time out to do those things. Yeah, something like that. And, <laughs> and the guy that I was dating not too terribly long ago, words of affirmation, that was not, it was way low on his. And the reason being is because his experience was that his family had lied and manipulated and told him these certain things that they wanted him to hear to manipulate him to get him to do a, a certain thing. So he never really believed that the words of affirmation were actually truth. And so hearing it from me, like, he's like, oh, gosh, probably some more false. Just you're just telling me that just for all the wrong reasons. And so mm. I realized, oh, no, he really loves good gifts. He wanted me to buy him the, the right pair of um, house shoes to wear at night or oh, thought, wow, that was thought about something. Languages. Yes, mm. it's like the gifts. Like he wanted me to pick out the movie on DVD and give that to him because it was a movie he was wanting to see again. Like remembering what he, he likes was important to him, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. Interesting. 
No, and that's so true. I've even seen that with um, with it with dating, where you know I would be saying all of these things, and then realize that that person, their love language is actually um, touch. You know, hugging mm -hmm. them, and so it doesn't mm -hmm. matter what I say if I don't put my hands on you and hug you, you know, or do acts of service for you, which is actually like you know making you a sandwich or something like that. Then you don't feel loved by me, no matter what I say to you. I'm, it's just words, 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 because. You know, what it comes down to really is that person is either a person can be driven by what they hear, audio driven, they mm -hmm. can be visually driven, um, they can be driven by what they smell, you know, um, what they taste. So we all are driven by a certain sense and how we were trained as a kid by how our parents gave us love a lot of times in the beginning when we were a baby. So we can figure out and isolate that. It's, it's so important. I mean, imagine the difference of going to, okay. I don't know about you, Teresa, but I've been to the, you know, $500 Valentine's Day dinners and it's not that great, really. It's like very expensive. You get all dressed up. You're around a bunch of people you don't talk to. The steak and all the food that they serve is usually like frozen and not that good quality. <laughs> it's like they brought exactly. up the frozen crap on the best day of the, of, you know, and they just make you pay like through the nose. Mm -hmm. And then, and then it's like, okay, what did we do? We just wasted a bunch of money. And I just really... We're getting good comments. Oh, we got to check out the comments. All right, guys, we're going to check out the comments. But yes, like, and, and the difference is, is you actually give a heartfelt gift to that person mm -hmm. that they actually want and need um, or from your heart. And you'll really touch them in a way that no amount of money can ever touch them because everyone wants to feel special to someone and know that you really get them. Yes. Spot on. Carolyn Brown Burson says, words go a long way. Material stuff don't really much. True love is everything. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. I'm putting a heart on that comment. Yes. Fizz Anthony says, I think one of the best Valentine's gifts you can give is a soulmate song. Your love story in a song. Oh, that's so sweet. I love that. See, that's something that someone will treasure forever. So it doesn't cost a lot of money to show someone you love them. Are you doing yes. over there, Teresa? Well, I was just looking, seeing if what gifts I've gotten in the past, and I'm just like thinking, and I, you know, that's true. Is that if somebody did something just that was actually heartfelt and yeah. find out what that person, like I would rather instead of an expensive dinner out, I personally would rather help get some things squared away at my house. You know, some like oh, like, like some honey light bulbs, do. like yeah, some honey, some do, honey right? do. I like yes. it. <laughs> like that would like. Hey, listen yes. to that. I like that. Also, see, so a guy could give you like some um, coupons of things that he'd do for you, right? Like. Yes. Um, last year, was it last year or this Christmas, Eric gave me some coupons for like free massages and like, you know, get to change the channel whenever I want to. Yes. And, that's and it. That was my favorite gift mm -hmm. <laughs> was thing he made. But it was like, ooh, you know, I've got these passes. So, you know, it really doesn't cost a lot to show someone that you care, especially when you're willing to give them the things you know that they want. Like me yes. to change the channel when I yes. want to. Yes. That's power. That's a great That gift. is. That is power. <laughs> and really just kind of getting in, into conversations with that significant other. Whether you go together and take the little quiz, the five love language quiz, just to get a good, a, a, a good idea, get a good assessment of what the other person wants so that you know. I think that would make such a, I don't know, it just make a really big it makes sense. It totally does. I would love mm -hmm. to hear what some of the questions guys have or some of the comments that guys have about, you know, approaching a woman for a Valentine's Day date and also, you know, how they feel about the Valentine's Day, Day date as far as like um, scheduling it or deciding what to do. Yes. Any I would imagine that they feel, that? yeah, I would imagine that they feel like there's a certain amount of pressure. Right. You know, and, and I would hope not. I would love to just dispel that 
and and have everybody set that to the wayside that really if you just do something kind mm -hmm. and simple and meaningful that going above and beyond and spending a bazillion dollars that's not necessarily the best way to celebrate right. valentine's day Yes, Chad says, she calls me to do those things around the house. <laughs> oh, oh, who's Chad Snyder? Is that your brother? Oh, that's my brother. <laughs> that's funny. <laughs> <laughs> that's hilarious. Yeah, so um, I was thinking about, you know, Valentine's Day. And, like, what about the people who don't have a Valentine? Like, I know this day brings a lot of anxiety to people that don't have a Valentine, just like Christmas and all these holidays. And... It's, it's kind of amazing to me because it's just another day, guys. I know we can get so wrapped up in the idea of this day and what it means. But at the end of the day, the person you have to love more than anything in the world, the person who can give you the most love ever is yourself. So I think mm -hmm. the best gift you can give yourself and even others is to love yourself this Valentine's Day and buy something for yourself also, right? Take care of yourself because... Sometimes we're in such a self-sacrificing mode that we're not taking care of number one. And then the sacrifice is not as valuable as it is, is when we take care of ourselves. you know, when we love ourselves, mm -hmm. we develop ourselves, develop our gifts, and then we also give to others. Yes, 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 yes. Because I think once we're in, in tune with what we like and what we want, then it's a little bit more... Um, we're more apt to be able to communicate that to the people that are in our lives. And we can be just pretty much straightforward about it because, you know, we don't want to put too many expectations on people because then if you're disappointed, then they're disappointed. Then it just defeats the whole idea all the way around. Oh my gosh. And I've totally had that val that, you know, horrible Valentine's day where I was like, get me something. And it was like, no, not that, you know, when I was younger and, and then the whole day goes just terrible. And it was all about other people's expectations and about being able to say what my boyfriend got me, you know, and it, and it wasn't about understanding who he was and that that was just so hard for him to even figure out how to handle it. Right. Mm -hmm. So the biggest gift on Valentine's day sometimes can just be the realization of knowing each other better. Like the gift of the Magi. Did you ever hear that story? Yes. Yes. That's a good one. That is a good one. Right. Good it's one. like the, the woman has this beautiful long hair and the guy, he has this gorgeous timepiece. He's so proud of. And so he goes and sells his timepiece to get her this beautiful brush. And she goes and sells her hair to get a chain for his, timepiece so in mm -hmm. the end it's like she's got no hair and a brush and he's got you know a chain and no timepiece but what they realize is that they both gave everything they had to make each other happy and I think that's what it takes in a relationship is like as long as you're giving to each other then it's a nice it's really nice exchange right yes you, you both are trying to make each other you both are making yourself happy first and then also doing things mm -hmm. to make each other happy and I think that's what makes a relationship work. It's not magic, guys. It's it's everyday work, you know. It's um, it's a it's a friendship first, I think, more than anything. Mm -hmm. Yes, it's a friendship, and it's a friendship of knowing that you're going to be willing. It's going to be give and take, and it's a dance, really. It's like Ooh, a I dance, like that, a dance. An on ongoing dance that. Sometimes there may be days where one needs a little bit more than the other and you just kind of have to flow with it and balance it out. But when you're in the right relationship, there isn't near the amount of stress and anguish and turmoil that goes yes. with it. And Carolyn so. says, always love yourself. And I totally agree with that. Um, it, it's so, so important. If you don't love yourself, you really just can't be in a healthy relationship it's, it's right. really really difficult I wonder how many people there that are in relationships and struggle with inner feelings while they're in the relationship and how to sort of like how to deal with them you know and, and how to sort of like stay in that romantic mode like when you have other things going on that you want to discuss but you don't want to ruin that romantic mode you know what mm -hmm. I mean by that mm -hmm. well and I would say that there's been times in my life where I've been in a relationship where I wanted it so desperately to be a good relationship. 
but mm. instinctively I knew it was not. I knew that I knew he still was going to be the guy that's going to go and work the extra hours and we're getting some, no, you heard, you heard my producer in the background. <laughs> what did he say? Oh, no, he was pointing out that our friend Bill Brown, easy way wall of famers here. He's been making comments. He goes and visits elderly home and gives something to them for Valentine's day. I think that's so sweet, you know, doing something for others. Oh, on yes. That day. Kind of taking, you know, taking your, the focus off of yourself. That's an awesome idea. I think awesome. that's, that's awesome. a nice idea. Like if you're lonely this Valentine's Day, you know, go go do something for someone else. And isn't that the greatest karma? You never know. That old lady might go, well, I have a daughter. Aren't you the sweetest thing? Or, you know, I have I have a granddaughter that'd be perfect for you. <laughs> No, this is the truth is that I worked in the medical field and I'm telling you that just to be able to deliver even a cake or cupcakes for the day for them brightens their day. So it gets ourselves outside of ourselves. Yeah, I like that. You know what? I want to ask everybody here, since we're getting some good comments, we've got Jason Spann here, Bill Brown. Caroline Brown, Bre uh, Burzins, Fizz Anthony, um, Chris Newhart, Chad Snyder. Guys, tell us, what do you think is the ideal Valentine's Day gift for a man, if you're a man, and for a woman, if you're a woman, and then vice versa? Like, what was the, what's the best thing you would give a woman if you're a man? And, like, man, what, what do you want from women this Valentine's Day? What do you, what do you want from a woman who um, is interested in you? So Dante, what would you say that you would want as a, as a Valentine gift this year? Well, when Eric asked me what I want, I said, babe, you know what I want? I want jewelry. I want all yeah. my, I was like, buy me more, more stuff to make Dante Bell jewelry because I love this stuff. I really do. And mm -hmm. for me, for me personally, feeling good when I'm in a relationship, especially when I'm working and I'm busy and being able to maintain that because being a woman, our, our, our emotions are like, are like this all day. You know, we feel mm -hmm. something for everything and um, having something that can balance me out instead of having to have a conversation is just so nice <laughs> or a little well, like cure session, you know, and it's like, what's wrong? And it's mm -hmm. like, no, I'm just crying because you know, <laughs> so yes. it really keeps things balanced and helps me to like respond to the problems that happen in the day. And I kind of like switch them out. So that's what I wanted because for me, it's, it, it, it doesn't just help me. It helps our relationship. It helps our future. It helps everything. That is good. Do you have a couple of pieces that you can show that I might oh, yeah. want to choose from? I won't. Oh, absolutely. Like, here, let me show you guys what I've got here. Let's see. Let's turn this camera around. How do I do that? Because I'm in a shopping mood. Okay, let's see here. So I'll show you guys a couple of things I have here. Here's our Mukaite and Labradorite, Labradorite necklace right here. Labradorite, there we go, with quartz. So I really love this one because it's all about like inspiration. Um, Ooh, and also prosperity. So that's one of my favorite ones. This one is Dalmatian, Jasper, and Labradorite with quartz wow. this one is like big for inspiration if you're writing a book if you're a speaker an influencer you want this necklace um this one is a super favorite it is called um actually can't remember the name <laughs> um it is titanium quartz i think it's called mm. There we go. It's called Queen Mean. It's titanium quartz. That one, it actually sucks all of the resistance out of your body. And it literally will become your body temperature as it sucks out like any kind of um, resistance, like anything you're having that's hard for you to get through. It just literally eliminates that tension from the body. This wow. one is really good for men. The blue and white one, that's um, La Peace. And this one is really good for EMF protection. It protects you from cell phone radiation which is big mm. big big time so you know it keeps you from feeling like you're under attack or having anxiety during the day and it's a really good stone for communication and um, leadership cool. uh, this here is our crackle quartz and black jasper 
Um, and it also has a tourmaline quartz, which is good for the cell phone, keeping the cell phone radiation. Now, all of these necklaces are made with 100% semi-precious stone, so it's all natural. And you're looking at somewhere around um, 1,200 to 1,600 carats of semi-precious stones in this necklace. Um, so all of these stones actually have carat weight, and um, you can actually measure them that way. This one here is um, my favorite one. And um, I can't remember what it's called, actually. I think we were calling it Isabella. And um, it just makes you feel so grounded, earthy, and sensual. Mm -hmm. I love that piece. It's a power piece. Um, it's, it makes me feel energized and grounded and just ready to take on the world. And then this is the special we have for Valentine's Day right now. This is our Amazon Night Queen. This is really good for opening the heart chakra, um, Ooh, helps I you like with your that. career, helps you with speaking up, confidence. Um, it pulls toxins out of the body. So it's really good for eliminating moodiness in women um, and just helps you to like maintain throughout the day. It's 100% Amazonite, semi-precious stones. Um, it's got 110 carat pendant of, of pure Amazonite. And so we are actually, we have this one in, um, here is the, this is the copper point connected. And then this one is hand knotted. Um, they come in a variation mm. of colors, but we are actually giving this one, we are giving the man's black agate stone pendant. It's man or women. That's the easy way. That necklace is the one that I'm for free. And women, you have to get that. It's the best <laughs> necklace ever. I'm telling you. Yeah, I need that necklace daily is what he's trying to say. <laughs> Uh, this necklace is for men. This one is black lava. See, Rico even loves it. It actually is a really amazing necklace because you can put essential oils on this one or cologne and it absorbs the scent and it will treat you throughout the day and it, it dispels all negativity. Really good for chaotic households, negativity, um, stress, any of those things. And they're all 100% um, genuine stone. But the really cool thing is that every single piece is 100% authentic because every stone is different. So each one of the stones on there is completely different in every piece. Um, so wow. no one will have the exact same piece that you have. So that's a couple so of them. And then we also do um, bangles and things like that too, um, just to sh just to bring yes, out Yes, what the about stones. these? What about the necklaces up at the top, those two? The Where? one with the heart chakra, this one? The heart chakra? Yes. The Amazonite, these? Yes. What is the price on those? Um, good question. I think they are about two ninety five. And if you okay. text HEAL to five five six seven eight, you get fifty percent off and you will also get this pendant. So you have a his and her set for fifty percent off and go cool. go. So really great deal we're doing for Valentine's Day, and we only have a mm -hmm. few of those left. Um, but they're really, cool. really great pieces, and I, I can't live without them, honestly, Teresa. <laughs> Ever since I've gotten them, I've just been like, I need more and more and more. Mm -hmm. And then there's a couple more of our pieces here. So if you don't see what you're looking for on the website, you can always private message me. That's beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. So definitely That's all I those... want for Valentine's Day. Mm -hmm. <laughs> to be in a good mood all the time. And oh my gosh, you know, Teresa, when we did that, um, oh my gosh, I forgot about that. Oh, wait a minute. Eric just brought me, uh, brought up a good point. So I have, for people who want something more affordable, I have all of these gorgeous stone pendants. And they're all under $100. They're all under $50, actually. Ooh. Ooh. I have a ton of them. Wait, I'm going to have to show. Okay, I'll show a couple of okay. them. Okay. I'll show a couple of them. For anyone who's on a budget this Valentine's Day, if your girl is a speaker, this is Kyanite. It helps to mm. bring out your true voice. Um, I wore this stone when I spoke in front of Stedman at the K's meeting um, last month, and it gave me so much confidence. It actually makes you speak your heart. And so I was even saying things that I didn't even know about myself. It was so funny. It was like, you know, just my complete heart. Oh, and came you did out, a and I was like, great oh, I job. This. It was amazing. Yes, and I you was did like, a great job. Magic. Oh, thank you. Yes, yes, you did a phenomenal job. 
this was the first stone that started this business. This is called, this is an amethyst sliced geode quartz. This necklace I got first and this was it. Um, all of a sudden, overnight, my entire personality just came busting out. I didn't even Ooh. know that I was like, um, I didn't know that I had kind of like repressed my personality or that I had really, you know, I've kind of went through some things, I guess. And part of my personality wasn't being expressed. And next thing you know, I was like power woman, like, you know, wow, you know, top negotiating with people. I'm like, I'm not taking less than what I'm worth. And just all of a sudden this just power moment happened for me. And I realized, you know, what changed? It was this necklace. And so I looked it up oh. and it's like, it brings out your, your confidence. It brings out your pure essence and it helps you to connect with your true self and to like fight for yourself and it protects you from anxiety and all kinds of stuff. So that one is like, um, I think this one is like, it's, it's under a hundred bucks and now it's 50% off on DanteBella.com. So Ooh. I totally suggest this one for Go your Go shop. And each one, like I said, is rare. So you're giving her something that's like a diamond, right? You're giving her yes. a stone that's like a diamond, basically. And of course, we have them in silver. And they have these cute mm -hmm. little toggle clasp on the back. So it's got little, little surprises in there. Yes. Hello. Everybody go to DanteBella.com. And this quartz. one's really, really cool for bringing out your personality. Oh, any tiger's eye? Yes, I have tiger's eye. Eric Zuli, I need you to bring me a battery. 911, I have 5% battery. Can you bring me my portable battery? 911, I have 5% battery. 4%. 911. Okay. Double 911. He's so good. <laughs> Actually, that's Noah. So I do have Tiger's Eye, Tiger's Eye, and it's on the website. We have a Tiger's Eye bracelet, um, but I don't have it here outside with me. Oh, my gosh. So I would Teresa. love Tiger's Eye. I think that oh, would be really? something I, I would really like. I was going to ask you, what should we do for the Teresa Snyder necklace? I know. Yeah, I know. Mm-hmm. Oh, by the way, and if you're, if you're, if somebody wants something custom, we also do 100% custom. So you can actually um, get a gift that is just a necklace or a necklace, bracelet, and earrings. There's a full set, 100% custom, whatever stone she needs to feel good. Or you as a guy. Plug yes. In, coach. All right, guys, if I go out, DanteBella.com. <laughs> right. No, this is and so I want good. I keep talking about this Valentine's Day stuff, Teresa. I know. I know. What women want. Honey, please help. Hurry. I need a, I need a oh, charger. I, I got you. I heard you. Yay, yay, yay. See, look at my, my man. He's being so supportive and awesome. What did yes, I do? What is. did I do right, Teresa? You just got a good one. You met the right one. He's a team player. He's a, Yay. he Same helps day. us out. <laughs> and he you know what well. it is? We were friends first. Yes. I think that people that makes forget a difference. so much in a relationship. You guys have to be friends first. Like, you know, stop trying to find someone to date and start trying to find people to appreciate. Because when mm -hmm. you really learn how to appreciate someone, that's when you start to realize like, oh, I like this or I don't like that. And there's not that pressure of like having to break up with someone. It's like we're friends and then you can move towards the person that you spend the most time with, just like your purpose, right? You know, they say mm -hmm. your purpose is what you're already doing. Yes. So it was like, what were we doing? We're hanging out on the phone all day with each other. <laughs> it's so perfect. So I can't perfect. wait. I can't wait for Teresa Snyder's um, Honey Bunny to come. If there's anyone out there who's who's a secret admirer of hers, you know, speak now or forever hold your truth. <laughs> mm -hmm. Speak up right here. Is your chance? Oh, T. Clark said, "How much are they?" T. Um, the necklaces are about, they, go, they range from $45 and up. You can go to DanteBella.com or if there's a special piece that you like, just private message me and I'll, um, and I'll hook you up. Get the hook up. Get the hook up. Oh, sure. Up. Yeah. Yes. Uh, and Bill Brown said a new meaning for getting stoned. Love it. 
<laughs> so funny because we came up with this great slogan, get stoned. But then I was like, I can't say that. Like, I can't like, get stoned. Like, everybody must get stoned, right? Which is, we're getting a natural high from the rocks. Mm -hmm. but, but then also, you know, what do you think about that? Eric says we should use it, that it's provocative. It gets the point across. <laughs> and now with the everything is all about CBD and hemp and this and that. And this is just like, no, you have it in your jewelry. Exactly. And it, it really, you know, not only does it, you know, for people that are using medication um, or using drugs or whatever to maintain their, their, you know, maintain their mood, you can put on as many rocks as you want and you're not going to get an, you know, an overdose. Okay. You're not going to get sick from that. Mm -hmm. Um, and it really helps to balance out your body. I've seen people that, you know, they just go from coffee to, you know, to cigarettes and then back to the coffee and they're just going up, down, up, down all day. Mm -hmm. Right. And that yeah. gets you nowhere at the end of the day. So, but you can literally have a natural high by getting stoned with Dante Bella jewelry. And the natural high is the real high that everyone is looking for when they're having caffeine or they're eating food or whatever it is that they're doing to feel good about themselves. They're just looking to feel normal. Yes. To feel, to feel like an, an even keel. And that's what this does for you naturally without all of that. I love to exactly. see someone and then you with them. I don't know. Be worth a try. But that's the thing. But then they feel better. They feel more confident because they're wearing something that they like. They're wearing a piece of jewelry that was a gift, so they're happy. And once that it's been given to them as a gift and it's something that they enjoy wearing, then their confidence is going to be enhanced. And because of the type of the stone it is, it's going to elevate, you know, the chemical and create more balance inside of what's going on in their world. So they're going to be at a more happy state. I mean, yes. it's just all the way around. It's like, da da. Yeah, it's so funny because, you know, at the end of the night, we've got like all these, you know, necklaces and bracelets and jewelry on, but it feels so good. And the difference is, is vast. It's the difference of like, you know, you can feel when someone's in a negative state around you and, yes. and, and it, it repels people when they can feel that, you know, I, I've, there's been times when I'm just not feeling good and Eric walks in the room. He's like, "Never mind." <laughs> and I'm like, no, 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 what? And he's like, no, I can, I can already tell. And it's like, Oh, let me put my jewelry on and I'm good. And funny, he said just now, a new meaning for getting stoned, just like got milk. Two simple words change a negative into a positive. What do you think? So that's what we're thinking of using is get stoned as the, um, as the campaign. But of course, I'm afraid to like scare away the executives and, you know, the, the, the high level people that might not want to get stoned. I'm an executive and I'll get stoned to Dr. Dante Seuss. Where am I here? Am I in here? Am I oh, look, I've got, party? I've got a guy right here. Look, so here's another. Am I crashing the party here? Good, good. There, see? <laughs> this is, hey, this is Noah. This is Noah Brown. He is. Hi, Noah. Noah, who are you? Are you Eric's? I'm Noah Brown. I, I work with uh, Eric Suley and the Easy Way. And, of course, Dr. Dante Sears here, the best doctor out there for what you need. Hey, there. Yeah. Cool. We're glad to have you. We're talking about tell us, tell us about, tell us about what, what you as a man would want for a, a woman for Valentine's Day. Can you like come down? I don't know what to do. <laughs> Can you hear him, Teresa? Yes. What would you tell want? What would you want as a man for Valentine's Day? What would I want as a man for Valentine's Day? Uh, the love of a beautiful woman. Aww. <laughs> Good. <laughs> And do you have that? Here. Sorry, I didn't hear that part, but I got to put this back for that. Do you have the love of a beautiful woman this year for Valentine's Day? Aww. Well, if we add my, if we don't include my mother, of course, uh, then uh, we, you know, I'm gonna have to look out for that. Is that <laughs> no? that okay. Mine shows that every day. So. so what do single guys do for Valentine's Day? We hit the club. <laughs> <laughs> okay, last question, Noah. We've been wearing our uh, 
champion's necklace for about a month now. How do you like it? You know what? I feel like a champ right here with this. Uh, this has leveled me, grounded me, kept me um, healthy with the little cough I had. So, you know, this, uh, it, was, it, it definitely had a lot of the essential oils that Dr. Bonifacio <laughs> here offers. Some of the best that I've ever seen. Uh, this is, you know, more than just you walking like a champion, talking like a champion. Uh-huh. And so for any of those single women out there, which platforms are you on? <laughs> this balance. Yes. If you want to know. I know. What are what are three traits that you are looking for in a woman that you would want? Uh, uh, loyal, obviously. Uh, one that's going to stick to me. Okay. And uh, 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 just, <laughs> uh, I'm not prepared for this. Normally, I'm worried about all these other things here. So, <laughs> oh, you know the best, you know main three traits you would want in a woman is, is loyal, uh, beautiful, and, and and as loving as as possible, especially for your mm -hmm. kid. Aww. <laughs> cool. That's what us women need to hear from men, right? Like, what do women think about what men want versus what men actually want? Is It's such a difference, right? And vice versa. Yes. Thank you so much, Noah. Oh, yeah. Anytime. Thank you. Darling. Yeah, thank you for your <laughs> candid answers and your fun. That was fun. T says she can't. I don't know why. Why you can't, T? You will find her, she said, in due time. Oh, sweet. <laughs> <laughs> Eric says, and they need to be able to cook. Do you cook, Marita? Oh, she oh. <laughs> Teresa, you don't cook? <laughs> what? All that creativity, the facial expressions is like. Well, I was going to lie and say, yes, I cook all these fabulous meals. Gross. Freezer aisle. No. Nah. I don't like to cook. What? I can. I can. Know the five things. There are five things you have to do to keep any man happy. Five. And things. one of them is cook. <laughs> and and um, and men, they're pretty much like sleep, eat, play, work, sex, sex. Mm-hmm. Sleep, eat, play, work, sex. In that order. And the sooner that they get to do all those things. The minute they have all five of those, you can have whatever you want. Okay? Yes. You have had their sleep. They've had their work done. They feel good about that. They've had some fun and, you know, those other things. Yes. Oh, and a I massage like doesn't help. A massage doesn't help. We'll put that in the play section. <laughs> okay. Could do that. Could After do that. that we'll give you whatever you want. So you got you to gotta learn how to cook because that's the way to the man's heart. I know. And I'm, I'm, I could do that. For sure. But I like your more... that was That was good. I, well, I wonder how many men care if a woman cooks or not. But you have to realize as a woman, if you don't cook, it's like, how can you help your man be healthy unless he cooks? Right. And I don't know. <laughs> and, if it, and that'd be a <laughs> good question. Let's ask. Let's ask. Yeah, let's ask the men. How important is it? that they meet a woman or have a woman that cooks. Oh, I'll tell Ooh, you. How I'll, important is a woman that cooks? You're going to have to come over this, be, side, this I'll side. I'll be your man to tell you that. <laughs> I'll be your huckleberry. <laughs> be my huckleberry, OK? How important is it that she cooks, Noah? Can you come this way somehow? Um, hey there, everybody. I'm Hello. To be shoulder guy. There you go. Stuck in hey. <laughs> so much light. So. The importance of cooking is so that uh, we're not stuck in a restaurant every day trying to impress the girl with, 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 you know, oh, I can take you out. I'd rather, you know, they impress me because I'm the one that's going to be expelling all the energy as, as the big, strong man. I'm going to need my Ooh, cooking done for me. So. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to, you know, I'm going to have to say cooking is one of the most important things. Remember. Okay. Maybe, Ooh, okay. so if you're not married or you don't have a valentine, you might want to pick up a cookbook. Yes. The, I think that's a, I think a cooking class is going to be on my radar. Say that again. The best, uh, the fastest way to a man's heart is to stomach. 
Yes. Yeah, right? So like, it's so simple, but true, right? It's like, we think that men are so complicated, but they're very simple. I know. And simple. We think that we're crazy, and we're not. We're just right. complicated. <laughs> yes. Crazy what? sometimes. What? <laughs> <laughs> so funny. Hey, Bennett's watching Kelly Bennett, the amazing um, Bennett Unlimited PR. She's um, connected with us through Easy Way. She's fabulous. She created the Amber Alert. Kelly, I'd love to hear oh, cool. this Valentine's Day. Yes, we would love to know. So now I know I'm going to go be taking on some cooking lessons and some cooking classes. That's what I'm going to be yeah. doing. We need to get some cook cookbook affiliates, right? Like whoever knows some good cookbook, put them in the um, section, in the comment section. Yeah. You might want to get your woman a cookbook for Valentine's Day, although she might throw the book at you. I got an idea. <laughs> Kidding. Oh, oh, Eric. Eric says he knows. You know the gift. Let me get some camera time here. I got, I got an idea. I got an idea. We got our, we got our Collins just came right into the studio. Here we go. I yeah. know. So, just popped in my head as I'm watching. By the way, this, isn't this a good show, guys? It's kind of like Home Shopping Network meets The View with less cast. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, <laughs> <laughs> Um, here, let me try to place Dante Villa Jewelry as I'm talking. So, um, no, <laughs> what I think, since we're on the subject of cooking, I think you guys need to. Um, I just had some chili cheese fries, so I didn't want to have a couple of my feet. Speaking of cooking, so I think you guys need to submit your recipe for a show like this. Can somebody create the official dinner or recipe Valentine's or Day. Valentine's Day uh, special as far as what you're serving uh, mm. for this new show that Teresa and Dante are, are creating. And whoever comes up with the best recipe will be highlighted and spotlighted on the you know next episode or the next time you guys do the special. Yeah. Just my input. I'm just saying. Great idea. Yeah, we can have a little dinner party or something with their recipe. So you never talked about the, the, the hottest piece of Dante, Dante Bella, which is what you're wearing. Dante, did you, did you realize that? Single awareness day for Kelly Kelly Bennett. Whoop, whoop. Well, Kelly, oh, have you shop for yourself, Kelly? Kelly, my publicist there. Kelly, Eric's publicist, soon to be my publicist. <laughs> Do I need her to be right? my publicist? Oh. <laughs> You. Yes, we do. So Kelly Eric's is the asking it. about this piece. This is brand new. This is these is um I, I don't know what you call these are collar necklaces. It's like a breast piece, and um so I'm taking something that's really mm -hmm. fancy, and then we add crystals to it. So either the crystals Ooh, can be like showing, that. or they can be. Oh, 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 I like that. I, I like, like that a lot. Soccer, but I'm still getting treated. See, why I came up with this, guys, was I would go to events, and when I found out about the stones. Um, I wanted to wear them, but they were all like hippie jewelry, you know, they were like mm. you know, bohemian looking, it didn't look good with a suit, and, and, I, and I really just, I can't go to an event like that, so I just got busy, I was like, you know, I know what I want, and I just started creating, and uh, literally everything I started making, people started snacking, but this right here is my fave, and so you get Love the that. you've got the rhinestones and the fancy, but you've also got quartz, agate and then another quartz at the bottom going down to the solar plexus so you're actually engaging your abdomen and feeling more confidence and also attracting more people to you what about, Ooh. The, what about the ring so i like, love you, that and then this is an agate ring eric so cute so this is an agate ring um and then also with the bangles we can also attach stones to them so this is one i'm working on right now where i'm going to add stones to because i love the bangle and i also love the stones um, and then this is a quartz ring. These are two quartz rings. Um, oh, I love that. Yeah, it's, it's like a vortex. I feel like it pulls energy in for me. So these give me a lot of energy. What about the good. Coming? I want a Dante. Oh! <laughs> that is classic. Dog collar. Because um, I want the dogs to be able to wear them to keep them from being agitated and um, and having anxiety. I think it would be really nice for them. <laughs> yes. <laughs> you know what I mean? Need yeah. Like no, no, he needs to do it. He needs to do it.
Yeah. I need to get my dog. We could start a show with the voice of the dogs. Oh, wow. If you love the, the Dante Bella jewelry, then you have to, too. Look at that. She's all over it. Uh, I know. I'm Eric Julie. I'm here all night. That's right. That was fun. Bring the fun. Oh, my gosh. Well, I had a blast. I had a blast talking about jewelry and, and what yeah. men should not do as far as the pictures they post if they're looking for a woman on a dating site. And then we looked at the jewelry and everything. So and we heard from I, about what, what they're looking for in women. That was very clarifying. Yes, I know. So I'm going to take a cooking class, send some recipes. Yeah. So juicy. Tell us what you'll be doing this Valentine's Day. Any plans? I do not have any plans. Ooh. Ooh. Maybe someone needs to hit up Teresa for Valentine's Day or we do some kind uh -huh. of fun girl special. But either way, celebrate yourself this Valentine's Day. Yes, yes. And that's what I would say is if, if um, next week yeah, we may just we may just have to have us another show and like be girls, girls, girls. 